determine which cake people like liked it the most. So to figure out, I did a little test. So I had two cakes, a GMO cake and an organic cake. People said that the organic cake was not so good than a GMO. We did a capstone on prescription drug abuse and why teenagers drug, use drug abuse, prescription drugs. And we did surveys to, we passed it out to the school community and we um, calculated the surveys and we put them on our poster. Basically, we just did it because to see why teenagers abuse prescription drugs. Capstone is on bread mode, and we actually went in depth with the bread mode. We actually stained it with the um, gel and everything, and then she used her plants, and that turned to mode. So then we compared our results with the bread mode and the plant mode, and we came to a conclusion that the bread mode is more deadlier than the plant mode. We would like to experiment on more results with different kind of modes such as half mode and see which one is more harmful. Anybody, we came up with our own project and it came out to be good. Was to create a toothpaste that was whitening, but at the same time it helps sensitive teeth, helps them build their enamel and the calcium in it. And we um, used the toothpaste for about two weeks and we had two people try it out. It works very well, and we were happy with our company. The biggest advantage is that the, all the harmful chemicals were taken out, so you won't have to worry too much about if you swallow a big amount of the toothpaste, because our chemicals in our toothpaste will not hurt you or affect your body in any type of way. Came up with an all-natural lotion. As you can see, it's all natural. It's liquidy, it's like baby oil, but that's because it don't have all the other unnatural stuff like uh, these other lotions that I tried out that leave like residue and stuff. That was my main goal was to come up with a to come up with a lotion that was smooth and last long and was natural without all the nasty grimy stuff that in other lotions. And we wanted to see whether or not students tested better using our natural bubble gum or using peppermints because a lot of times just during testing we always get peppermints but then they complain about the results not being where they should have been. So me and Tiantra, we thought that if we gave them natural bubble gum it would do better. Three students take the ACT test. We had them taking one with bubble gum, one with peppermint, and we got one of them absolutely nothing to see what type of results we could come up with. And with the results from the test, the, we showed that students did not make the correct score with chewing the bubble gum. Instead, they made a lower score instead of a higher score. It always proved that either with gum or no peppermint or nothing at all, you have to rely on your own concentration. Patterson, take him with you. Gary Hutchinson, I'm from Toyota. I got involved with this via Castle Burnett. We're supporting uh, a few of the manufacturing groups here. So we were working with manufacturing process, processes and uh, the, each of the teams went down to Georgetown, Kentucky to look at the automobile assembly processes and uh, they worked, one team worked on um, the assembly process for uh, uh, pistons and the other team worked on something called a skitch cutter. So for them I think the goal was to actually learn a new process and kind of get involved with manufacturing processes. And that's what I heard from everybody was they had never seen anything like that, so they kind of enjoyed that the most, going down there and seeing the processes. I learned about TMMK, which is Toyota Motor Manufacturing of Kentucky, in Georgetown, Kentucky, about the short block sub-assembly and the piston assembly. Like how the pistons get, get put in of a six-cylinder engine. Jared stole my piston. <laughs> So this is a, this is just, it's a piston, a bearing gets put in here and it gets assembled and it gets put onto the, uh, it gets put onto the crankshaft and the short block sub. Uh, Toyota made three engines. The start of production of the AZ engine was in 2000. Then when the gas prices started to get lowered, it was like, okay, let's make a six cylinder engine, which is the GR engine and the start of production was 2006. So in around 2008 is when the gas prices started to get high, you were just leaning like, oh, I'm gonna put $20 in the tank. They made another four cylinder engine, which has more power than the first four cylinder called the AR engine. But the engines, pistons and short block subs that manually, when everything's done manually, 
it's more safety issues and it's more cost efficient, but when you use a robot, safety is higher and the cost efficiency is lower. And that's what I learned on my trip to Toyota. In the general history of Toyota, how it started and how we are today. And um, there at the specific plant in which we had went in Georgetown, Kentucky, as Tyler said, we had experienced the bumper motor, the plastic bumper modeling process. And um, with that, it, we have um, how bumpers are made, how they're used in assembly lines, how they put to the cars, and painting, welding, and using the thermal gaffer camera here. To tell like uh, if it's overheating or if it ain't, or if it's about to fail or not, or if it's doing good. General information. It was a great experience that we learned a lot, and it was an experience that I had really enjoyed. General Electric. Aviation. Uh, we went to go visit and see how the debird process was done. We had to figure out what birds were and how they use it towards the jet engines. Here we're talking about the deburring process. The deburring process has to do with the sharp edges that are around the metal that create the jet engines. And here we're talking about the process that removes those um, sharp edges. We're working with Kroger for our capstone. Which we have explored is the information technologies part. It basically explained how they kept in contact with all Kroger's across the nation, not just here. The plant was located in Blue Ash, computers all around where they keep constant contact using their ping test. Their ping test is sort of like a handshake to all the other Kroger's to make sure they're still there. As long as they respond with, another, with the same thing, everything's okay. As soon as the Kroger does not respond, they're automatically on it and they're calling them to see what's wrong. They're on the internet seeing if there's a major power outage in their neighborhood and they're working to solve the problem as soon as possible. They have a problem like a store can't make credit card transactions quickly. They make sure they tap into the backup system so that everything will work fine because if not, the credit card transactions will go in but they won't be processed enough. And if they're not processed, then banks are charging Kroger's. I plan on going to the Air Force. My brother, he's in the Air Force currently, and he was actually telling me about the post-traumatic stress disorder, which made me think about, like, so if I go to the Air Force, how do I can, like, avoid getting this disorder? It's a good career choice. It pays for school. I don't have to worry about anything. I just... And it make it will make me a better man, a hard, responsible, respect to blueprint. Have our blueprint of the house. A little more on the inside framing. We have actual carpet inside of our house. We have a state of art kitchen, dining area, state of art game room. We have the works. Total of nine rooms. Just a vacation house. The price of our house is $150,000. $50,000 of it is uh, from the logs because there's approximately 2,000 logs times about $25 a piece for each log, which is $50,000. We also have solar panels for solar energy that will save the environment and help others, right, other yeah. than ourselves. You know, uh, most houses usually have black roofs. The only reason we use brown was the simple fact that um, because of it being in Tennessee, it's usually warm. So. By it being brown, you know, black usually holds heat, but brown, it really won't make a difference because it's going to be warm regardless outside in that type of environment. By it being brown, and it, it, it attracts less heat from the sun, which making it more durable for this type of house with a log cabin. Right. All right. Here you have a bedroom. This is a closet. This is the front porch. This is another closet. This is another bedroom. This is the living room. This is the dining room. This is the kitchen. And this is the patio. This is the hallway. This over here is the empty space. This is another bedroom, a closet, and a storage room. It was very successful. Turns out better than we thought it was. Any surprises? The color is bright. Like it's <laughs> yeah, I think one thing I can say about ours, like the inside of it stands out. Like, we didn't make each room we made each room its own person get each room its own personality. We started out with two hundred seventy five thousand dollars. This is our total cost of goods sold. And these are our operating expenses if you look down here. So I see now. These will be the totals for each room. So I see now. No the presentation of a bubbling rock found that we is building on the east side of the Woodward building. We 
we, we built this so they can go out to their buses and sit out for class. Work on this, like this is the, uh, how many days it took us to do it, but this is the, uh, how many, this is, we had to extend it on the, uh, cause of the rain, the weather and stuff like that. Elevation, what I was talking about. This is a picture of how it actually looked. When it's done. When it's done. This here is the cost sheet of everything we will be using to build the, um, the fountain. And the total cost came out to be $5,594.73. Uh, basically, this is our Woolworth Spirit House right here that we're about to show you. So here it go right here. Yeah, since it's a big construction work and you can, like, I can build my own house, basically, I won't have to help somebody pay for somebody else to build my house, the house that I wanted to build. I can do it myself. A lot of landscaping and I think this is a good opportunity for us to get out there and put out what we know. You never know this, just this project right here could take us out for estimate for other people, drawing out blueprints for anybody, you never know. So this project can take you very far. Criteria, family-like, spirit-like, it's big. We show you, we show you. How we how we can how we can put the three rooms, the two rooms, we got the the full basement with tornado protection. We have roof, vinyl roof, we, we have our backyards, landscaping is a must. We did our thing with this one. We got a whole lot of whole lot of visual love. You feel me? You would come up to this house and want to buy it. It's, it has its own aura. only have one nail, your body weight will be able to spread over the surface as if you had a lot of nails and make a big square. To lay on until your weight is distributed. Your, your weight is distributed and equal pressure, makes pressure it equal. Don't hurt you. Pressure don't hurt you. This is so cold it causes all the air molecules to get together and then you take it out it warms up and the balloon fills back up. So this, I guess you can use this to prove that there is air and air takes up space. Sound, okay? Everybody knows sound is a pressure wave, right? It's pushing the air, moving the air back and forth. Okay, so we, but we, we need to see that. We need to see that. So to see that sound is a pressure wave, I'm gonna put this speaker, just playing the sound, right here. See how, right here there's a, a bottom and then it goes up, then it goes down, then it goes up. 